Well, hey friends, Catherine from CatherinePuller.com, hanging out with Eva in the clubhouse today. This is actually take two. <laughs> so we're gonna do the intro again. So if you're joining us live and you're already on the first one, hang tight for a sec, cause we'll go and delete the first run cause we had a little uh, technology hiccup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're excited today because we are announcing a new product line, uh, We, which is inspired by this one. So that's why she's hanging out with me um, for the reveal. Hey guys, thanks mm -hmm. for, for popping in here. So um, we have teamed up with our dear friend, dun, 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 Ken Oliver, to bring color bursts in Catherine Pooler colors. Mm -hmm. So Eva, how did this come about? So a few years ago, we got the color bursts for the first time and I thought they were super fun. And when we came out with inks, we did a technique with the refills where we drop it on the paper and then spray the water. And it kind of reminded me of the color burst. And I thought, why not have Colorverse in CP Colors? Smarty pants. So then, it happened. It happened. So <laughs> we, you were with us for a couple days at Creativation this year. Mm -hmm. And Ken Oliver is there. And so we approached him and said, Ken, we have an idea. So we said, you walk around with inky fingers all the time. And so do we. You love color. So do <laughs> we. Let's team up. Let's do a product collaboration. And he said, <laughs> sounds like a great idea. So he decided that Carnival collection and Samba, Limoncello, Mardi Gras, and suede shoes was a great idea. And then he wanted to do two sparkle colors as well. So we did that in Samba and Limoncello. And then, yeah, he said these are really, really vibrant color bursts. Um, all of his color burst colors are phenomenal, but he said that these are like top notch, notch with the vibrancy. So mm -hmm. that's really exciting. And then we decided that we needed some other products to go along with the color burst. So we have some new background stamps and dyes. So oh, we yes. are gonna show and play and just hang out for a bit. So you guys ready to meet us over here? Let's, um, <laughs> if you get dizzy, <laughs> just close your eyes for a second while we move the camera. Eva genius. <laughs> So let me know if, the, if everything is working right, because we just had a little blip there. We made a ton of samples too. So. She's an Eva genius. <laughs> okay, so we are going to, oh, can you grab a pack of color bursts? So we have Watercolor Paper by Ken Oliver. What I love about this paper is how bright white it is. It's smooth on one side and it's textured on the other. So you can go smooth or you can go textured, which I think is a really great feature. Are you on the YouTubes? Mm -hmm. Do we look okay? Looks great. All Let's right, see. and there is the um, color burst. And then the Ken Oliver spray bottle. So I <laughs> have been using my Distress Sprayer for a long time and I love this product. Um, but what I love about the Ken Oliver is that it gives a really wide, fine mist which works really well with color bursts specifically. Yeah. It's not so, a super harsh stream in one place. So it yeah. Kind of gets the whole paper. Loose. It's very wide. Okay, so did I cut paper? Oh, I was starting to cut paper and I got distracted. So I can show some samples while we're waiting. Oh, let's show them all the new products. What are, where are they? Should we show new products first or show the color burst first? The color burst. All right. We have a ton of samples. We also made it. Oh, well, yeah. Let's show them how it works. Oh, if you are new one. to Color Burst, Beautiful. there are a powder. Got paper first. <laughs> it's a concentrated watercolor powder. And there are two ways you can do it. So. <laughs> yeah, I have smirk fingers, Erica says. Yes. All right, so okay. suede shoes, limoncello, Mardi Gras, samba. So let's do a little bit of suede shoe. Oh, that's not just a little, that's a lot. <laughs> and then some Mardi Gras. And then, you ready? So here, here's the spray. Let me make sure it's, okay. So here's my sprayer. I'm gonna pull back quite a bit so that I'm far away from the paper. Oh my. So there you go. You spray it with water and it activates the color 
and you have gorgeousness. Boom. That's right, Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Laurel, you want to do some Facebook Lives with me this week? Since you're the one who color verse and Ken Oliver in the first place, I think it would be appropriate for me and you to do some live together. We can get on Facebook Live together. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to let it dry. The fun thing about color burst is you can do a lot of different looks with it. So that one, I just put them on and I am just going to let it sit and dry like that. But let's see when we have more water. <laughs> Don't let kids get a hold of it. Nightmare. Oh my gosh. Yes. These, you guys, these are messy. I'm not going to candy coat it. But they're really easy to clean up. Yeah, that's true because it's watercolor. So yeah, if you just spray some water on it and then wipe it up with a napkin, it comes up super easy. So you can add more water to it. And you can just get a nice liquid watercolor. You can also make a palette and put water in, in the powders in like a palette and make watercolor and then watercolor with it. We really like this overspray situation that's going on here. And that's how I spray. That's overspray. Show them one where you put the water on first and then oh, yeah. drop the... Okay. So now let's do. You can either put the powder on first or the water on first. They kind of give different effects. Yep. Yeah. So, so there's water. Oh, oh my. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. So part of the awesomeness of color bursts is just playing. So yeah. I posted some pictures last week because uh, Susan and Jenny were playing in the clubhouse with with the color bursts and um. So I posted a couple couple photos for our Stamp Nation members, and I'll post more this week. It's they're just so fun to play with. <laughs> and then let's take a look at the sparkles. And depending on the look you want, you can do more or less water. But I usually tend to do less water, more water. I do. I do a lot of water. Yeah. I am like making a mess. One, I didn't do that much water. Yeah. This one. All right. Now I'm gonna get paintbrush and we'll where's my sparkles here we go diane says she loves to see how i'm not always on technology oh so yeah some crafty oh. yeah <laughs> so i had elena and her boyfriend playing with these too it was funny because her boyfriend his ended up look, looking like oh a black gosh. hole it was a mess <laughs> and hers was like all like kind of like this did were kind of dainty it was really funny so here are the liquid sparkles i like the dainty ones they're pretty depends on the look you're going for so you can use this as a paint laurel says if it's blurry on the viewers and it might be their wi-fi or youtube in general because it's clear on her end yeah okay. it's clear for me it was blurry but now it's clear for me this samba and the limoncello are just pure gorgeousness like the the vibrancy and clearness of color man they hit the nail on the head with these spray some with water it looks cool when you spray it too oh yeah all right so i'll Just set these drop. aside to dry too all right so i'm putting these on the floor to dry <laughs> It's a good thing we have a dark rug here. Yeah. Oh <laughs> and let's look at some of the new products. So we have the Garden Gate die. You guys love the Interlock die so much that we decided to come out with uh, another die in, with a similar feel. So this is the Garden Gate. And I have a video coming out showing uh, four techniques using the Garden Gate. And here are two. And then so far, you know, our wholesalers have already gotten to pre-order this collection. And actually our Stamp Nation members have gotten to pre-order this as well. So if you're not a Stamp Nation member yet, you might want to head over to katherinefuller.com slash Stamp Nation and check it out. Our members uh, had a sneak peek about a week and a half ago and they got to order first, which was really fun. Um, and this was a, has been a very popular stamp. So I did white embossing and then color burst over the top. Look at this shimmer. Oh, Kathy, that's funny. Yeah, I can see some damage to be made with this. Oh, that's nice. All right, and then we have the um, Feelin' Hexy. 
<laughs> die, mm. which coordinates with our hex marks the spot stamp set. So the hexagons, some of these hexagons are the same sizes as these stamps, so you can use them together. And here is one card with some color bursts inlaid in there. And then this, these are both by Lisa Harrell. This one completely amazed us in the clubhouse. She did some painting with the color bursts. So see how you can use them as a watercolor. Gorgeous. That looks like the shimmery thing. I feel honored that she sent this card to me. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, and then these two, we had a lot of fun with these in the clubhouse. This oh, one these. is the Sandy background stamp. Oh my. And this one is Rizzo. <laughs> So Sandy is op has a lot of open space and it's light and and then Rizzo is very colorful and we had fun naming these. And then there's the dies, so you can cut out the different layers and then um, do some fun die cutting techniques with those. So here mm -hmm. is the Sandy on two cards here. Love the name. We also, when we were naming that, the middle school had uh, the play, it, Grease. They were doing the Grease. The Grease play. <laughs> Let me start over. They were doing a musical. They were doing the musical Grease. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> and oh it was at gosh. Eva's school, and then Susan's daughter was in it, so that's how that was inspired. <laughs> and then here is the Rizzo background. So when we created the artwork for this, this is exactly what I had in mind here, and actually with the Climbing Flowers background stamp too. I thought the Joseph's Coat technique would be perfect. So do a, a color burst background, clear embossing over the top, heat set it, and then <clears throat> sponge with black. And then it's going to keep all that fun color in here with the black background. So Oops, super fun. fun and rainbow on the floor. Christy Goulet did those. And then next up, we have some stencils. So this is the Polka Heart st uh, stencil. And then the Bear Grass. And then, oh, I keep forgetting what this is called. All linked up. <laughs> so and then a rainbow. And then the Spotlight stencil. And then, oh, and the poke heart. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. And then here is a card with sparkles just kind of brushed across. And then you are love die on the top. Susan Powell did that, this one. I thought this was a really cool card. So do you guys have any questions? Um, I guess the main thing I have not addressed yet is that these are going to hit the shop on Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. So today and tomorrow, we'll be showing you ways to use these and projects to make and all sorts of fun things like that. And then on Wednesday, you'll be able to hop in the shop and purchase. Uh-oh, I'm getting uh, color bursts all over the place. This looks like paint splatter. Hey, Joanne, thanks for joining us. We have so much fun naming these. Good. So yeah. you guys, is the picture better and the sound better? Do we have control over this now? <laughs> People said it was better. Oh, good. Fantastic. I got blue on my card here. So, all right. Well, that's that. Um, if you're not following us over on Instagram, be sure to head over there and find us. Also on Facebook. Uh, Laurel and I are going to figure out a time to do a live or maybe I'll talk her into doing two this week. I also am working with Ken on scheduling a live with Ken on Facebook for later this week, hopefully on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that too. So all social media platforms, you can find us, Catherine Pooler. Thanks for being here. Let us know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter yet, list yet, you're going to want to make sure you get on that also. That way you will definitely not miss out on news and links to order and all that good stuff. And uh, we appreciate you with us. We, yes, Daniel, thank you. Hit the thumbs up, comment, <laughs> share, and help spread the love. And we thank you for it. 
We'll see you guys soon. Bye.